How is everyone feeling? I'm good. 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 What's your color of the day? Uh, Shout it out. Purple, white, white, white gray, gray. Yeah. Wow. Okay, this is a pretty remarkable uh, gathering we have here. Like, whoa, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Woo! Hey. Get comfortable. Yeah. Welcome everybody who just came in. Don't don't be afraid to like grab a spot or lay on the floor like and do a little shape. Okay, I invite you all to take a few breaths. Let's take three breaths. Okay, and now on our next exhale, let everything out. Exactly. Okay, and now on our next one, we'll take in a breath, and then we're gonna let out a note. One quality sound of how you're feeling in this moment, okay? Open your awareness to like, let's hear everyone, okay? Look around. <laughs> Amazing. I hope you enjoy the show. Our first opening act, will be a wonderful person who I met through a meditation group in the plateau. Um, and we would meet every Saturday and meditate. And he's a very kind, wonderful person. Very excited to hear his music. Please welcome to the stage, Matt Carland.
That song was called Half a Mind. This next one is the most recent song I wrote, and uh, it's called City on the Hill.
Thank you. Hi. Okay. Thank you, Matt. For this next performer, we have a very own Woodnote born, <laughs> one of the Woodnoters who lives in this building, an amazing cellist doing improv cello. We have Bruna. So, yeah. Okay, um, you can talk amongst yourself for a minute. Maybe use the bathroom if you want. We we'll just have to like quickly change the setup. Uh, no, no. Uh, okay, how are we gonna? Yeah. Yeah. You can. You can. Yeah. Yes. Take this keyboard and put it up against the. Window. Okay.
For this next sack, this is somebody who has a very dear place in my heart, and I love him very much. I've known him for five years, been living with him for four, and um, he's truly a, an amazing friend of mine. So I would now like to invite onto the stage, doing an act of stand-up, Matthew L. Rice. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. Wow, hello everybody. Hello. How is everyone doing today? Is everyone good? I unfortunately cannot sing or play any instruments. All my fingers are broken. So I can't, I can't play the cello like she did, but instead I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna talk. I'm just gonna talk and uh, just talk about what's on my mind. What I've been thinking about all the time. And what's on my mind right now is actually, it's sad to say, I keep thinking about how I'm going to die. My own death, it's so sad. <laughs> I don't wanna die, but I'm gonna die, and I keep thinking, oh, I'm gonna die one day, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I'm like, then my mind goes to, what's the most probable way I will die? What's the thing that will really kill me? And, I, and, I, and I've come to the conclusion, I know exactly how I'm going to die. I figured it out, well, probability, statistically. I am going to die by getting shot in the back of the head. <laughs> hey, why are you gonna get shot in the back of the head, Matthew, you may ask? That's not that probable. You're not into violent crime or you don't, you don't go to a public school anymore. It, <laughs> but the way I'm gonna really get shot in the back of the head, I think, is because I, I will get shot in the back of the head while trespassing. <laughs> and that's because I trespass a lot. <laughs> Like, I go where I'm not really supposed to be. And not because I really want to. It's just because I kind of am already there. It's like, uh, like the other night, this is an example, like I was walking in a dim alleyway at 2 a.m. Like, as I, you know, we do, I do, I do that tip, you know, it was 2 a.m. walking in this very dim alleyway, like walking around. And I wasn't necessarily, I didn't have any care in the world. I was kind of just walking, just chilling walking down this damn alleyway, kind of taking my own little pace. And it's 2 a.m., midnight, depending on the time zone, and I'm walking there. And I, all of a sudden, I see a light and a door. I see a little door and a little light. And I walk towards the little door and the little light, and I get closer to it. Now I'm like, it's illuminating me. I'm like a moth, you know, I'm going towards it. <laughs> Is that the sound a moth makes? <laughs> Anyway, I'm going towards the light, I'm going towards the door, and I, and I see this door, it's like red, it's beautiful, and I'm looking through the little window, and it's, and it's, and it's, and it's, it's light. And I think to myself, uh, I should just go in here. <laughs> I should just walk in here. I mean, I, what's the difference between my door and this door? Like, I don't really have the distinction between mine and you, you know, like, anyway, so I just kind of, <laughs> I go, I take my hand and I walk into the door. I open it and swing myself into the door. And I'm greeted immediately by a bunch of people sitting around a table smoking. And they're all looking at me. And one guy stands up, hey, what the hell? Who are you? <laughs> and then I, and I answer, I say, well, I don't really know who I am. <laughs> I'm young and I have my full life ahead of me and I can't really define myself as who I am right now. I'm full of potential and excitement, but I'm also burdened by my past memories. <laughs> He didn't really like that answer at all. <laughs> he was like, what the fuck are you doing here? Get out of my house, this is a private apartment. He was so angry. <laughs> he was so upset with me. He, I was like, oh, I'm just chilling. I was just walking in the alleyway. Why are you getting so upset? And I was thinking all this, but I wanted to be non-confrontational. <laughs> so so I, I make a face, I'm just kind of like, you know, like, oh. <laughs> I think if I like play dumb or play like confused, it really helps. So I'm just kind of like, oh, and I put my hands up right this. I think it's like a non like confrontational gesture. I'm just like, oh, and you know, I, I kind of, I kind of get down and I'm like more smaller. So I'm like kind of non-threatening and I say, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And this really works. Whenever you get into this situation, it really just calms. And there's like, okay. And then I back up slowly and I go outside and I go back out and I, and I leave. And um, you know the expression, uh, curiosity killed the cat? I really know that expression. Like, I feel that. When someone says, oh, curiosity killed the cat, and in a conversation that comes up, I'm like, oh yeah, I get that. Uh, but I don't fully get it. 
to fully like embrace and engage in that statement, curiosity killed the cat. I think it's to be, I think it's, you have to have been killed by curiosity. <laughs> like you have to be dead, dead. And you know, I think a lot of people die because of curiosity, but it doesn't, no one labels it as I died by curiosity. No one says on the death certificate, it's not like death by curiosity. <laughs> it's usually another thing, death by curiosity, like the cat, you know? <laughs> How did that guy die? There's a guy dead right there. How did he die? And the other guy's just another bystander witness is over here. Oh, well, this guy died uh, climbing that tower. This giant tower was right there and he was climbing it and then he fell and then he splatted right there. He's dead. And then the other guy's like, well, why was he climbing the tower? And the other guy's, well, we don't really know exactly, but his last words were, uh, were I wonder how high I can go. <laughs> Death by curiosity, just like the cat. Just like the, yeah, just like the cat you know, is up in the tree, climbing up the tree, and it falls, and it's like, how did that cat die? Why did he go up the tree? Oh, it's just curi curious, curiosity kills the cat. I know I will die by curiosity. I'm a curious guy. I kind of get into, you know, you just kind of wander around. <laughs> And I'm curious, and the thing is, I, I think it will be really hard to truly pinpoint the cause of my death because it will be really hard to find my body. <laughs> because curious people don't necessarily like uh, tell you where you're going, where they're going, or like why they're going there or when, because it really like uh, ruins the fun. It's not really a curious adventure if you're like telling everyone. So, you know, I'm just gonna say like, if you find my body, in a ravine or like by a by like a you know a cliff somewhere you can chalk up my death to death by curiosity i think that will be uh, probably the most likely uh way uh yeah <laughs> death by cur yeah so um i think that's all i have <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you back down get that ass down or you can stand if you want sit that ass back down everybody yeah sit that ass back down sit that ass back down yeah okay back down amazing okay everybody ready yeah all right so Thank you again for being here. I hope you're all doing well. Let me know if you need anything or anything. Um, and uh, yeah, for our final opening act, doing a song will be Kaylee. So let's give her a warm welcome and applause. Thank you, Dylan, for the invitation on stage. Thanks for everybody being here. There's so many familiar faces. Um, for those of you who like know me, sort of, I've been such a hermit this winter. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else has experienced that. This is my first Montreal winter, um, and it's crazy in the city. It's crazy here. I'm coming from BC. I'm originally from Alberta. It's crazy here. <laughs> um, but there's so many amazing people. I find that like the wildness of the nature that I was in in BC, it comes out in the people here. And that's like one of the most amazing things I've seen so far. Um, thank you also for the acts who came before. I was gonna play a song from the island, and then I could also play a song that I wrote here. I'm tr I'm thinking of improving something. Um, yeah, I'd like to do that. <laughs> <laughs> See how this goes.
it's been a long time that I've been here. It's been a long time I held myself dear. Dylan back up here <laughs> for the beautiful uh, launch of the EP Frost. Thank you. Thank you for, for opening your heart to us and being vulnerable. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, so thank you. That concludes our opening acts. Um, now we'll do a brief setup for the first part of the show. So one more pre-break. There's a few more to come. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> All right. La la. We. Sit your ass on a chair. We are ready. Sit your ass on a chair. Or on the floor. Yeah. Sit your ass on the floor. Sit your beautiful ass right on the floor. Thank you. My whole life's led me here I'm on the brink of something real Oh, and I don't want you to go My whole life's led me here And I'm starting to see clear Oh, and I'm holding on to a glimmer of hope That you'll stay I 
can almost feel it. It's seeping through my skin. The fog is wild from the waves crashing in on this ocean. This is the real thing. It's not a test run. You better live in. Because there's only one. Join hands with the wind. Submit to life's flow. Notice the current. So this song is called Nobody, and I wrote it when I was living at home for a month, and I feel like it just kind of explains that feeling. I don't know if any of you can relate if you've ever, when you leave home and then you're coming back to home and like living with your family, I don't know. This is how it feels for me sometimes. up in the city that's always gray about to get on the same old day it's right after new year's the one i'm thinking of is far away can't i just get back to my games and stop all this thinking but there's things i have to do things that scare me silly go into your steampunk closet when will everything be okay I want these feelings away think of a marathon where they're cheering you on Tackle the voice that says I'm a nobody. What lies above the gray sky? What dormant dreams are yet to realize? Can't I just grow wings and fly away? Or are these troubled thoughts here to stay against my will? I've been running every day to strengthen my calves, but these slopes are getting way too high. I think they're getting steeper. Where is 
the love? Where is the love? I think it's floating around in me. Can I take it into my heart? I heard your name from the start. Everything be okay. I want these feelings away. I think of a marathon where they're cheering you on. But can they tackle the voice that says I'm a nobody? What lies above? What dormant dreams are here to realize? Can they tackle the voice that says I'm a nobody? What lies above the gray sky? What? Dormant dreams are yet to realize. Thank you. So this next song is called Harpoon. Yeah, it's dedicated to Monica. <laughs> because Monica likes it and uh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> and basically it's a metaphor for how a deep moment of connection is like a raft boat that connects me to my inner child. ailment to rescue the weeping child in my stomach one must conjure a harpoon not just any harpoon it must be sharp enough to pierce my skin it's got a long way to go and needs all the momentum it can get Sharpened with love to cast an iron tip, move through my beating heart into my spiritual body. Through the planes of my spirit, magical landscapes of shapes and colors, each plane different, incandescent, realms of infinity, thoughts and memories. If your love falters or wasn't true and deep the momentum is lost your harpoon will drift in an endless plane <laughs> but if it's the rare sperm survivor <laughs> your harpoon will arrive at the soft flesh of my sensitive self. It looks like a black green void, infinite, with a raging sea as its floor. Murky and dense, like a stream in a swamp. If you listen to the sky, you can hear my heart thump. Your harpoon, a light, illuminates the dust and amoeba in the air. Sniffs out the scent of vulnerability using the power of love which enchants it. 
It follows the trail to find me The ultimate me My heart of hearts My core of cores Get ready Breakdown coming The harpoon soars down and strikes him Pulls his ethereal glowing spirit out of him Up into the sky Way up high Now we are connected Umbilically Our spirits are connected Can be one <laughs> I will live this life Gladly and care for the one who cannot see. Send my love into him as much as I can and hope that others love me enough to strike a harpoon right into my soul so I connect with the inner self and spirit and we can strengthen the string which ties us together. concludes the evening. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Here's a poem called Lovebot. I wish to craft a bot with hair so gold and peachy skin which wraps around her heart. A love whose beauty comes in manifold. So pleasant we would never need to part. I pick and choose the scrap which makes her up. Control her fate and whom she dearly loves. I've written deep in code, avoid breakup. And think of me when air exudes your lungs. On booting up, my mind recalls someone. A living presence I could not control. Their bodies fixed to pain that I outrun. Oh, how they shone with such spirit and soul. It's true. She sculpted after the one I love. To their heart I'm tied, and their sweet flesh and blood. Thank you. All right, now I have to set up the piano, so yeah, you can take another pee break. Thanks.
on the couch The snowy winter glows outside Outside is a cool breeze with snowflakes whisking past the glass sliding doors He sits on the couch in his apartment in the plateau near a mountain in Canada surrounded by two oceans on planet Earth and drift And he 
he's finishing up school and he's lonely and his girlfriend is thousands of miles away and he's getting And he'll look back at this time and think it was fine. forsaken flash in his stream of consciousness one What makes it beautiful? Woo! What makes it shine? Yeah. Yeah. That's what makes our life worth living. Cause one day we're gonna die and we'll be dead. That's right. Buried in the ground or burned to shreds. And that's what makes it beautiful What makes it shine Yeah, that's what makes our life worth living What makes our life worth living Cause one day we will die It's just a fact of life will be a constellation in the sky one day you and I will be in the sky bleeding hearts and carving pumpkins one day We're gonna die. We're gonna die. <laughs> it's just a fact of life.
sits on the couch The snowy winter glows outside Outside is a cool breeze with snowflakes whisking past The glass sliding doors He sits on the couch in the apartment in the plateau near a mountain in Canada surrounded by two oceans on planet and drifting through space and he'll look back at this time and think that it was fun and it all was beautiful Thank you You probably really need a pee break after that one, right? <laughs> well, great, because I got to get rid of this piano now. <laughs> Thanks. Two more songs coming up.
Lily, Lily Junod. Thank you, Lily. Thank you. Love you too. Cool. This mic's off. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. So this is where we have one song left, and then it's done. Then the end. Then you can go home. <laughs> So um, yeah, I'm, I just want to take a moment to like thank people who have helped me. Nick is running the sound over there, Ooh, and Nick. Yes, yes, Nick. Nick. <laughs> Nick has helped so much. He was here at three today, setting it up with me, and I, I I feel like I have my trust in you to have your ears on the sound. Thank you, and to the filmers, Makai and Matthew. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah. To all the people who have sang with me, thank you. We can keep clapping. And to the opening acts, all the opening acts, to Matt and Carland. I think he left. Um, oh, oh, okay, Matt, thank you, Matt, thank you, Matthew, thank you, Bruna, um, and, oh, and yeah, and Kaylee, Kaylee, thank you. And thank you for coming. Thank you, Monica, for helping as well, and, and just everybody else. And Saber, who I just ask now to just like help be stagehand, and he's like the best. So thank you. Um, and now I'd like to invite Liv up. <laughs> so thank you. I hope you enjoyed the show. Have a great night.
Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. I wish you all a beautiful evening, beautiful life. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. What's your decoder of the other director's name? What's your name? Uh, Lila? Okay, Siam and Lila are using this song in a film maybe in their short film. I don't you, I don't know if you still are. You are? Okay, awesome. the lights now don't be afraid my daughter please sing along <laughs> think about your future just focus on your breath my dear i know you're worried you're smart with that stuff but the future doesn't concern you now i know that you can have Heading off to bed now, get rid of any fear, my daughter. Just pick a shining star and know that that one shines for you. Cause one day you'll grow old and all this will fade. But don't let that overtake you now. I know that you will have. Need to go to sleep now, please let go of my shirt sleeve. The future's not your problem, that's an adult thing. What's the next line? <laughs> okay, you're right, you're fine, you're a stubborn and bright one. What's that? Are you scared? Well, what do you want? Tells you what'll happen. So, how could you know what'll happen? When will you realize that you're different? Feel estranged from the other people. told you it was gonna be this hard So how could you know it was gonna be this hard It feels so long since I last saw you But you're looking beautiful as ever my dear Seems as though since you moved out, we've been growing apart. And I don't want anything to get in the way of us. You mean so much to me. My Daughter. <laughs>
Okay, now we're gonna go home. Thank you. <laughs>